All right, guys, it's like 6.40 in the morning. I'm getting ready to take my kids to school. It got pretty cold last night. It was down to like 32 for about six or seven hours. And I took my chances and did not winterize last night. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got flow. This one, this hose is a good indicator for me. There's nothing near it. It's only a half inch hose. So if this thing flows, I know that nothing else is frozen or I assume nothing else is frozen. You can see these transfer lines still have moving water in them. So that's all good. We should be good to go. And we'll catch up with you guys shortly. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm out here with Big Dave. Got him on the job. Hasn't had too much time to work with him this summer. Dave has a full-time job of his own driving a triaxle. And uh, we're out here, we're gonna do a little washing today. We'll show you what's Big going Dave's on. Big Dave's gonna take care of blowing off all this driveway for me. We got a bunch of sand on here. The guy wants it cleaned up. And then we got this big four unit raised ranch to wash. And we're gonna jump right in. We're hooked up to water. We had to hook up to a laundry source inside today, which is not my favorite thing to do, but we did. And we're gonna come back and do gutters for him at another time. He's got a roofing company coming out. Well, this place is pretty dirty. And it's a little bigger than it appears. I'm happy not to walk on that roof today. Just not been feeling it. I don't know. It's not even a it's not even a big angle or anything. Like this is easily walkable. And I was like, yeah, I really don't want to do it today. There's leaf guards up there, so I told them I'm not doing it because I'm not removing leaf guards. You got leaf guards, I just can't do it. I have to fire that work. I'm done with it. So I just pulled hose all the way out here to the corner while I'm talking to you guys. You see all this moss on this walkway that goes up? We're going to expose this walkway today. So we'll be hooking up an extension or two on the snub nose gun and turbo nozzling from the top to the bottom. We're going to bring this back. All right, we're cranking right along. Dave's almost got that whole front area blown out. Eighty years old, working circles around you, young pups. I got the third end to soap now, and then the front, and we're done. Joe's gently removing the paint off of this uh, section here. As for the client, I request that he get some paint off there. Again, it's a very dangerous job. I don't recommend you try this at home. You call powerful improvements if you have any any questions on this. We'll be glad to come over and give you a quote. As you can see, it's a very technical job. It's a, not an amateur job, it's very technical. Joe's an expert at it, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, you know, try. Anyways, uh, we'll get right back to you, okay? So you will notice the, the brush strokes Joe's taking. It's almost like a Picasso, you know, you have to be very, very careful. Again, I have to stress that the client wants his paint off. It's not the machine that's just doing it. He wants to paint the, the, uh, the side of the uh, building here and make it nice. And Joe's trying to get some of that loose stuff off there so he can give it a nice fresh coat of uh, white paint, you know. I think it'll look very good when we get done. Again, I caution you, do not try this yourself at home. Very dangerous work. Now we got Big Dave on the turbo nozzle. Hey, take this Dave is doing a fantastic job. Look at this. So much better. Alright, Dave's giving it a final rinse. Came out really good. He did a really nice job. This house came out beautiful. It was super dirty in the back over here. Look at all this chum. <laughs> this is where it was real dirty. Still drying a little bit. Gutters came back nice and white. Stripped a little bit of loose paint off of here with the turbo nozzle. You can see that I didn't shred anything. Just took some of the flaking paint off of the guy. He asked me to help him get started on painting it. So, even in here, nothing shredded. 
just got to be careful with the with the turbo nozzle. Let's stick it right in there. Dave and I are going to wrap up. We're going to go find something else to do. Put it all looped out. See? Dave and I are over at the trailer store looking at stuff, and I saw this CM truck bed. It's a six-footer. Would fit my truck. So all the boxes, aluminum up top. This thing is sick. Beautiful. These cabinets. All nicely sealed. Plenty of room to put my hardware. I don't know. Plus your tub is a lot deeper too. Right. Plus this tub is this tub is low. It's a lot Put a big tank back here, all tanks, all reels up here, machine up here. Hmm. Let's go get a price on it. All right, so this is the store where I bought my trailer and they have buyer's boxes. And they got the small 24 inch box. I really like this. I might get one of these for my 12 volt setup and uh, place this somewhere, I don't know. It's kind of expensive, but. I went with this 48 inch box on the bottom, 48 by 18. That's my 125 blower, fits right in there. All my gutter tools are gonna fit in there. Chainsaw, fuel, everything. It's gonna be right outside of my cab, up on the rail of the truck, the driver's side rail. Uh, this is a beautiful box. It's got a nice seal in here. Nice foam seal in there. Very heavy duty. Much better than anything I'm seeing at Tractor Supply. Very happy with it. Of course it locks and we're going with the black. Black is the theme on my rig, black and white. There it is, we're getting a brand new one in a box and uh, figure out how we're gonna get it home. Okay, there it is, that's how it's coming home. Say it. That's not going anywhere. All right, there we are. Got the buyer box on there. I think I might add one more if I can make it fit. This gas tank is gonna move at some point. I'm looking at doing a different kind of tank that's gonna sit maybe up on top of this box so it'll gravity feed for next year. But I got more space in here than I had anticipated. Big hole right there. I don't know, maybe I'll put the Gen 2 up here. I'm not sure yet. But uh, this box is sweet. I got it all mounted on here. Fits the shelf nearly perfectly. I went with the overhang inside and it does clear my tanks just barely. So that works out okay for me. Happy with that. And the door itself, it's a nice, nice mechanism. Let this down gently. But I disconnected the chains. So I want this thing to open all the way up so that I can just access here. I don't want this hanging out here like a shelf because then I can't, honestly, I can't reach inside of here. I can't reach all the way to the back from the ground because I'm too short. So I'm gonna get some chains and extend this chain so that it holds the door maybe about in that position and then I'll have plenty of room. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. More washing coming at you and we'll talk to you soon.